very particularly rare, particularly goes for a lot of money set and I got this for my birthday. If you haven't seen my birthday haul, I'll link it up above, probably at the end and in the description below, most likely. But nonetheless, here it is, the Harry Potter Professor's Pack, which was the Bricktober promotion for 2018. Hey guys, Tom, and today I'm here with a very particularly rare, particularly goes for a lot of money set, and I got this for my birthday. If you haven't seen my birthday haul, I'll link it up above, probably at the end and in the description below, most likely. But nonetheless, here it is, the Harry Potter Professor's Pack, which was the Bricktober promotion for 2018. So how I got a hold of this, I did mention in my birthday haul, but I got it for my birthday. My parents hang, hung on to it. They got it when the promotion was available at Barnes & Noble last November. And then they kind of hang on to it, and then they gave it to me alongside the Avengers Infinity War Bricktober pack, which I will also be reviewing sometime soon. But anyway, we can see the four figures inside here. They have Madam Hooch, Professor Slughorn, Dolores Umbridge and Bogart Snape. You can turn it around. There's just some information and just some contents and stuff. The you know, all the warnings and things on the back there. It says down here it's limited edition, which it totally is. This goes for a lot of money on eBay and so forth. But anyway, let's open it up. So the first figure in this pack is Madame Hooch, who is a Quidditch referee and flight teacher at Hogwarts. So her accessory is just a normal brown broomstick, which we're gonna take out of the way just to get a better look. She's probably, out of all the Bricktober figures in this pack, probably the least detailed of them all. Uh, a good runner-up would probably be Slughorn, but she's not extremely detailed. In fact, the torso is pretty much the only thing that's a very detailed printing. and. Even that is very similar to the 2010 Quidditch match version. So the pants are plain black, the legs, sorry, which I don't love, but I guess this isn't a bad place to include, include them, really. The torso is printed, like I said, similarly, but not exactly the same as the 2010 version. She has the little Hogwarts pin there and just the black robes. She has this cloth cape which mine is a little beat up because it was shoved roughly into the packaging. But if we do lift that up, there's just some minor printing on the back there. Her head is two-sided. We have this side here with a normal expression. And the other side with a smirk and her goggles there. I'm glad that they did away with the weird yellow eyes that were on the 2010 version. It was extremely odd and like really didn't match Madame Hooch at all but they have fixed that here. Her hair is the same hair as was in that set, which is that light gray hair in the same shape as the Doctor Strange hair from 2016, which overall is not a great hair. They don't use this in um, on a lot of figures that actually could use it, but this is not a horrible hair decision for her. I mean, I think there are other more realistic hairs for this character, but that hair is not a bad choice but she also comes with a beige wand is the color for her wand here but that is it for madame hooch the next figure in the pack is professor horace slughorn who is a potions teacher at hogwarts in harry's sixth year so Again, like I mentioned before, he's probably another one of the characters that isn't as detailed printing as some of the characters, especially in the Infinity War Bricktober pack. He, again, has plain color legs. In fact, there's only one character in this pack who has printed legs, which is kind of disappointing. I really wish they had continued the coat down Slughorn's legs here. So... His hair is the same hair that was on Jim Gordon in the Scuttler and in the Batman series. Um, which is a very nice hair, very useful. Um, I love Lego using this hair. I hope they use this a lot. But I think 
from what I've heard, it is actually the white on the sides is ever so slightly different. Uh, I don't know if that's true or if that's just something false, you know, that I've heard. But I've heard that. Um, his face is two-sided. On this side, he has a very happy face and a, a good grin there. And then when you rotate the face around, he has um, kind of a, I don't know, like a shocked kind of expression. Not really, it's kind of a frown, I guess, but, um, saddened, solemn. I, I'm not really sure what kind of expression that's, that's supposed to be. You can get the light on it there. So the torso is printed beautifully. I, I love the torso on this figure. It is so detailed. I do kind of wish they had more printing on the back, but I don't really know what more you could really do with that. But you can see all the, just the detail with the gold there and the, the bow tie both ties are cool but he just has these plain brown legs which meh. his accessories are a reddish brown wand which is common in the sets and this green potion bottle which i've never had one of this piece before and now i have one which is awesome but that is it for professor horace slughorn so the next figure up is Umbridge, Dolores Umbridge, who was the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher in Book 5, and boy was she a nasty Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, which is most likely why her opposite face, although this side is a very nice smile, has quite an angry face, which this face I think really matches Umbridge, because she always has that, you know, perky, pompous smile on her face. But she can get a little edgy sometimes. So, I feel like this face is just like a total perfect match for Umbridge. I love what they did with it. It, lo it just looks so expressive on both sides. But, so yes, this is Umbridge. She's the most detailed figure in this entire pack. The hair is Queenie's hair. It's a fairly common hair these days. It's also seen on the trolley lady in the Hogwarts Express. Um, but it is in a dark brown color here. And, like I said, the head is two-sided, two and I already showed you that. She here has, on the torso, printed her pink sweater with her little cat lapel. And, on the back, you have more printing there, which is beautiful. Um, nice printing with her dress there, which continues down to her legs there with the skirt, which are dual-molded here. Also, I love the the printing to represent her high heels there. This is an absolutely wonderful minifigure. I totally love how this came out. Her accessory is a teacup, and her other accessory is a dark brown wand, which honestly should have been black if they weren't going to color it pink to specific for Umbridge. I honestly don't see them making a pink wand like that, at least not for a Bricktober pack, really, even though these are meant to be way more detailed. I, I just feel like she should have had a black or pink wand rather than a dark brown one, but the dark brown one works just fine. So that is it for Umbridge. The final figure in this pack is Boggart Snape from the third book. This is Neville Longbottom's Boggart, and after he has ridiculous Professor Snape. So, this is basically a remake of the set from 2004, uh, which was set 4752 Professor Lupin's Classroom, and that figure was not nearly as good as this figure, but I mean, that's understandable. It's been 14 years. Yeah, Legos come a long way. So, Starting off with the hat, which is the scarecrow hat. I'm not sure from where, but I have it has been used before. It has the pin on top, and a lot of people are disappointed that they did not put the bird on top as it has the pin. But I feel like it's not too much of a big deal there. It's just a little missing touch. The head is the same head that's in both the Hogwarts Whomping Willow and Quidditch match on Snape, which has an angry face on the other side, which really matches the figure. The overhanger here is the same as Craven the Hunter in that Spider-Man Web Warriors bridge battle set from a couple years ago. Uh, it is also seen on 75952 Newt's Case of Magical Creatures as the nest for the eggs. 
it's a little loose on his neck, so it wobbles around a lot. And when you shake around him, I don't know if you can hear, but you can, in person, you can really hear a noise. It's a little annoying, but it works fine. This purse is not a new mold, as some have said. This is um, a mold that's been used many times on LEGO Friends, although this is the first time it has appeared outside the theme and also in that color. The torso and legs, well, the legs are plain, but the torso is printed here with the cat eating the mouse, which is a really nice touch. I like how that turned out. It also has kind of the striping down the front and the back. Just has a spider printed there, which is also just a really nice touch. Although, I like McGonagall, the face is somewhat visible through there, which is a little disappointing. And I hate it when they do that with two-set faces. Although, this isn't as bad as McGonagall, as he has the overhanger. It still is not uh, my favorite. I really don't like it when that happens. But, that is it for all of the figures. All in all, this is an extremely great pack. I really love this, and I'm really, really lucky to have it, honestly. I'm also really glad that I do have it. It's, it's really nice to have all four of these characters that, for the most part, aren't seen in sets and probably won't be in sets for a while. Although many were surprised to see the selection of these figures, especially for Umbridge and Hooch, it still turned out very nicely, and I love the way this particular set looks. So, that is about it. I'm going to rate this definitely a 9 out of 10. Just a couple of little mishaps, and the lack of printing on most of the legs takes away that last point. But it is definitely worth the free with $75 purchase if, well back in the day. Nowadays, you'll find it for typically between 50 and 100 online. Unless, you know, I haven't really been keeping up to date on that, but that's what I have seen around. So, unless you have a ton of money to spend, if you want this pack, then good luck. But I guess that's really all I've got to say for that today.